Hey guys, how's it going? My name's Paul. Today we're going to do a review on some sleeping bags that we use while we're camping. We've got the 23 Zero 1400. We've got the Adventure King sleeping bags. And we've also got your standard Big W Coleman sleeping bags. So we'll run through the features on each of them um, and then compare them all. And I'm going to do something different today. You tell me in the comments which one you would use um, and why. And we'll work out the winner from the comments. All right, let's get to it. Let's start off with the sleeping bags from Big W. Now these are Coleman's. Coleman are a really well-known brand, um, good quality. I think they'll run $50 each at the time of purchase. Let's open up and have a look. So this is the Coleman sleeping bag. As you can see, it's got a nice hoodie, which you can pull nice and tight to fully enclose you. Um, it's got this zip player, meaning specially designed zip that won't snag up and get caught. Uh, when you're rolling it up, it's got two tie points. You fold it in half, tie it, and you can roll it without it coming undone on you. And then when you go to tie it up, once you've rolled it, you've got this cord here and this hook. You wrap the hook around, tie it against that, pull it tight, and it makes it very easy to get back in this bag. Um, I've been quite surprised actually how easy it is to get back in the bag. A lot of them aren't, so that's really good features. Now, it is made out of polyester though. That's, it's a minus five sleeping bag but it's polyester, it does heat up, but it takes about 10 minutes. So those cold nights um, in winter, when you just wanna jump in a warm bed, it's really cold when you first hop in. So it takes, like, like I said, 10 minutes to warm up. After that, it's really nice. But some of the other sleeping bags, uh, you can jump in them straight away and they're warm instantly. Now, I'll try and open this up now, and let's see if we can join two together. I got them together, but straight away I found one con, one of the hoodies is upside down, so someone's gonna have a hoodie in their face and nothing below them. Um, one feature I forgot to mention before too, was the Velcro tabs on the sides here. So you lock that over, holds the zip there and stops it from coming apart during the night. Um, that's one feature on the Adventure Kings that I'll get to, it's really annoying. Now, let's take some quick measurements. Width, roughly 155. And length, about 185. So Big enough for someone who's six foot. Now let's move on to the more premium sleeping bags. And I know that sounds hilarious mentioning Adventure Kings and premium in the same sentence, but we've actually been quite happy with the um, quality of this product. Now they're 149 at the moment on the website each. Now you buy a left and a right to match these up so they zip together. Um, and if you buy two together at the moment, they've got a deal for 208, so that's not bad value. But is it worth going from a $50 common sleeping bag to a $149 sleeping bag? Do you get the extra $100 value? Well, let's have a look. One thing we really loved about this sleeping bag, on the inside here, is all flannelette. Um, you have this wind block layer here and on the zips, so it keeps the wind out quite well. Um, the thing we like about the flannelette is it's instantly warm. Unlike the other one, you hop in, 10 minutes you gotta wait before you warm up. This one here, no matter how cold it is outside, we jump in here and straight away we're warm and it just, it just feels so good to hop into a nice warm sleeping bag. And then in summertime, it's great as well. It has the feature of a removable in a layer. So you can use it as a summer sleeping bag as well. So that's a really handy feature. Uh, one thing we didn't like though, this zip is directly in the middle. Uh, so at night time you're sleeping, because we're both sleeping this together, and one of us rolls over, and you can't help but the zip falls down. Uh, you've got to wake up two or three times through the night and keep zipping it back up, otherwise you freeze. And then on the inside, on the underneath side here, you got another zip here, and that quite often comes undone too, so you've got to keep doing that up. Or you'd lay on the zip, which is quite cold, and a bit of a shock <laughs> while you're sleeping. Or you'd lay on the zip, which can be quite uncomfortable as well. So, if they move that zip to the outside, this sleeping bag would be perfect. Um, and also if they had a Velcro layer on here, they could join these together, so they doesn't come undone during the night. We have to use clips at the moment to try and hold them together. Um, and there's four zips to try and contend with as well. So all four of them try and come undone, which is quite annoying. I do like the color though. It doesn't look that great, but considering you're out camping, you get this dirty, you're not gonna notice it at all. Overall, it's a, it's a great sleeping bag. Now let's take some quick measurements. We found this one really um, comfy and quite spacious actually. It's around 170 long, roughly. And 
around 185 long. So big enough for a six foot person. The Adventure Kings are rated at minus five, but considering the common was also minus five, this one is far warmer in winter time. Incredibly warm. Quickly before we move on, there's one thing I forgot to mention about this inner layer. Being zipped on the inside here, when there's two of you in here um, and it's quite warm night, you might be sweating, um, you go to roll over and this turns with you, the inner layer turns with you and you get trapped in it and you feel quite claustrophobic. I believe if they had the zips on the outside here and this was zipped to the outside, holding it there, it wouldn't move with you and you wouldn't feel so cramped and tight. Um, but besides that, it feels quite roomy. The Adventure King sleeping bag does also come with its own bags as well. They're quite good quality. Um, bit annoying to get in because you've got to wrap that over and it all gets tangled up. But we never used to keep in these simply for the fact we always kept our sleeping bag in the rooftop tent with them both zipped together. So there's no need for these bags again. So all we use these bags for, uh, we've got two or three of these mesh floors from Adventure Kings. We keep these, in these, um, these bags here, quite convenient. As soon as you take this 23-0 sleeping bag out of the bag, straight away you notice the quality. Metal buckles. None of those sleeping bags I'm testing today have this. Much better design. First thing you notice about the 23-0 sleeping bag is the colour. It looks amazing with this bright orange riding um, in the rooftop tent. With the black rooftop tent, it just blends in so well. It looks really cool. The only downside to this black colour um, shows up every single bit of dirt, so it'll look dirty very quick. Whereas Adventure Kings, yeah, you won't notice the dirt on that one. Now, this one here is all flannel as well. Has the same um, baffle wind layers as well as the Adventure Kings to keep out the wind. This one has an internal pocket though. So you can keep your phone or keys or anything in there nice and safe. Wind baffles on the side here too. Zips, much like the rooftop tent, have these bright fluoro orange handles on them. So you can see that in the dark. Um, and then they also have Velcro strap on the side there, holding it there so it can't come under the night. Best feature about this while we chose this one here all the zips are on the side, meaning it's not going to come undone during the night. You can sleep all night without having to zip it back up. That was worth it just for that alone. Um, what we didn't realise though, is how small this one was. We bought it as the Alaska Black 1400. We assumed 1400, uh, our rooftop tent was a 1400, it would match up perfectly. But we measured this one across. So yeah, that is 1400 across. And 175 roughly length but that's a lot narrower than the other sleeping bags we didn't realize that we thought it was going to match up um, to the same width as the other one we probably should have done more research that was mainly our fault so we're a lot more cramped in this one but we're going to keep using it just for the side zips alone they also come with their own little pillows little flannel lit pillows that's really cool nothing else has their own pillows and this is twin layer as well this is a minus 10 rated sleeping bag very good value for money. This one is $260 though. The 23-0 sleeping bag claims to be water resistant. So we're gonna do a little test. Put a bit of paper toweling in each sleeping bag. Turn the sprinkler on all the sleeping bags and see which one actually soaks through into the sleeping bag. I'll stick it right in the middle of each. Now the only reason I'm testing this, even though you're not going to be sleeping outside in these, even if you are in your swag or your rooftop tent, you occasionally do get condensation built up on the roof and will leak down. You want to know you're still dry during the night. So we'll put some in the Adventure Kings as well. Let's see how good that fares up. Right in the middle of the two layers. Close it up. Now I'll take away these two pillows, they don't need to be there. Let's go turn on the sprinkler. One thing I'm noticing already, there's a lot of beading of water on the sleeping bag, which is a really good sign. 
A little bit on the Adventure Kings, but not so much. But the Coleman and the 23-0, it's beating right over it, so hopefully no water gets through either of them. All three are looking really wet now, so I'll give it about another five, 10 minutes just for it all to soak in the water, give it the best chance at getting wet on the inside, and then we'll check all the paper towelings. It's been about 10 minutes now. Let's pull it out and have a look. Actually, I can't feel anything on the inside of that. Not a single drop on the Coleman's. So that one there is water resistant. Let's check the 23 zero. That feels very dry. Look at that, you can see all the water pulling up and just running straight off of it. Very good sign. Same thing again. Not a single drop on the 23-0. Not so sure about the Kings, let's give it a try. Wow. Now I've got two drops. On the Adventure Kings. This is the top layer, and you can see along the seam here, the water's leaked right through the seam of the sleeping bag. And that's actually a wet line across the second layer here. But, oh yeah, I can feel dampness. Only just, but it has come through the second layer. Let's check out the 23 zero. Now, a good indication with this one here you can see on the 23 all the water is still beating after 10 minutes, meaning it hasn't soaked into the sleeping bag. And yet the Adventure King sleeping bag is nearly dry already. So all the water has just soaked straight into the sleeping bag itself. Not very good. Let's open this one up and have a look. Oh, it's so wet on the outside. No, I cannot feel a single drop. That has held up perfectly. Now the Coleman's, you can see it is still beating on here, but it's only half the amount as there is on the 23-0, which means a lot of the water has probably soaked into this one. Let's open it up and have a look. Now, feeling on the seams. Surprisingly, no, I can't feel a single drop inside the Coleman. $50 sleeping bag, completely water resistant. That's very surprising. Great job, Coleman. In conclusion, guys, you've got your Coleman sleeping bag here from Big W, roughly $50, by two, $100, you have a double sleeping bag, um, side zips, water resistant, and minus five degree rating. Great for the kids, or if you're starting out, good value. Um, takes a while to warm up though that's the only downside and also the hood is upside down if you join it as a double but great for starting out but if you want to get out more often uh, you probably want to spend a bit more money something's gonna be a bit warmer and last a lot longer 23 zero um, it was about 260 dollars but this is a minus 10 degree it's flannelette so instantly warm the second you hop in it comes with its own two built-in pillows your side zippers are completely water resistant and far superior quality as well I Absolutely loving this one so far. I just wish it was a little bit wider, but great sleeping bag overall. And then you got your Adventure Kings. This one here is a minus five. I think I said it was about $160 or 208 for two. So great value for money. Um, it's not water resistant though, as we've seen. I thought it was, but water does get in it. So you gotta be careful that if you've got a rooftop tent or a swag, um, it's got the zip in the middle, which is really annoying during the night. It is good having the double layer though. So you can have it as summer or a winter. Um, except that inside layer does roll over and you get stuck in it and you get bundled up and feel very claustrophobic um, But besides that great value for money. So what do you think guys you tell me in the comments Which one you would choose and why and let's read through the comments and we'll determine the winner from the comments We'll let you decide. So if there's anything I've missed guys leave a comment as well um, I'd love to read all your comments answer all your questions. If you enjoyed the video leave a like if you haven't already consider, uh, consider subscribing but thanks for watching the video, guys, and I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers!